Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I thought I would show you this. It's a book review. <laughs> it's the Daily Mail Annual for Boys and Girls edited by Susan French in 1952 and it is hilarious. Dave said you've got to put this on your channel, it's so funny. So what were children like in 1952 and what advice were they getting? Well obviously in 1952 children like nothing more than um, photographs of the royal family and uh, the editor of this uh, Annual does say that she has asked children to write in saying what they want to see and clearly that's something they wanted to see the old king in a kilt um, and then of course we've got stories now I think this story in the 50s would have been aimed at girls and it's about skating and the uh, there's some twins their father is a vet that's a veterinarian um, but he's having trouble paying for their skating lessons because not enough cats and dogs are ill apparently <laughs> Now, in this day and age, of course, we buy children whatever they want, the minute they want it. But Joanna, the twin here in the story, has been skating since she was four years old and she's wanted tights ever since she was four. And uh, she's 14 now and she doesn't have... <laughs> she still never had any tights. <laughs> those were the they didn't just give kids whatever they wanted in those days. I particularly like the use of language in this story. Um, William's nerves, he calls his Jack in the Box, and it says, uh, When William's Jack in the Box got obstreperous, it made him say truculent things. <laughs> so, <laughs> a children's story in the 50s, there, much, much more educational than children's stories in annuals today, I'm going to guess. And that's uh, Skating to the Stars. And now we're going to come to the next story. This story is called That Chump Tubby. And I'm going to guess that this story is aimed more at boys. And, and it's got some quite posh boys in it. I think they're at some kind of boarding school. And they say things like, Wizzo and Good Show and, uh, you know, things like that. And uh, they've got tickets to a circus, I think. Um, anyway, so yeah, it, it all goes very much as you'd expect. It's um, got a teacher with a cane, they call him Old Caney. It's all very much as you expect and then all of a sudden it gets a bit more edgy <laughs> and it's all kind of a bit West Baltimore here. <laughs> the snowball hit the policeman full in the face. So <laughs> I just thought, really? So there you go, even in the 50s, hooligans, gangsters and uh, attacks on the cops and we'll just have a look at this we'll flip back to this because what a great 50s cartoon that is I love it let's see what's next well we didn't have to guess did we 50 years of royalty <laughs> and uh, a load more pictures of the royal family which Imagine the children having to wait to get to this bit before they could see some more pictures of the royals. And there's uh, Prince Charles before he turned into a madman. Um, and now we've got a section on keeping pets by Nancy Catford. Notice how she's got cat in her name. Hilarious. And uh, this is an interesting look at pets. It's a lot different than you would have today. Go and collect. I used to collect this on my rabbits, chickweed and groundsel. I don't think kids today would really be out in the field identifying these wildflowers. And uh, I love the description of hamsters. I don't think, I'm not sure if, if Mrs. Catford had ever seen a hamster. Hamsters are about seven inches long and look rather like a mouse with a guinea pig's figure and without the mouse smell or long tail. <laughs> and it suggests that uh, they will gnaw their way out of a wooden cage so you should get a metal one or keep them indoors in a steep-sided enamel bath. <laughs> Please, somebody invent plastic. Um, hedgehogs, apparently, you could keep as pets. Um, that's quite unusual. They're usually wild. And it says in the winter you can release them back into the wild or you could keep them in the garden, make them safe and uh, spray their bedding with DDT. <laughs> to keep their fleas uh, by, at bay. I've got a feeling, I wonder if um, I wonder if any of their hedgehogs ever survived, survived the winter. And tortoises, this is great advice, buy a clean looking tortoise with an unchipped shell <laughs> and then rub it with Vaseline. <laughs> so yeah, great ideas. Uh, okay, other people's clothes next. And uh, it shows us some outfits. These people are apparently French. <laughs> 
<laughs> it does admit these are national dress, but I had to laugh at them. And uh, if you ever wondered what Scottish people look like, they look like that. They're probably the only people, Scottish people, who still dress like the pictures of national dress. <laughs> okay, let's look what's after that. Ah, uh, yes, now, all you old girls like me from the 50s will uh, appreciate this. It's a story about Paul Temple, and we must think that's probably for the boys again. If you don't know who Paul Temple is, you're too young. He's a detective. Now we've come to a quiz, <laughs> and the quiz is rather, <laughs> rather cruelly called, How Bright Are You? <laughs> How bright are you? And um, I thought I was pretty bright until I read this question here. Uh, let's see if I can get it in focus. This ship is rigged as A, a barkentine, B, a brig, or C, a schooner. <laughs> I, have, I have absolutely no idea, so I'm clearly not very bright. I must say that kids in the 50s pretty deprived when it comes to pictures of tropical fish. They are not cool. Right, there's some more cartoons of those uh, pretty little 50s moony things like those. And then we come to a story called It Happened So Quickly <laughs> uh, by Enid Blyton. And of course, we had to have a story by Enid Blyton. And I think this one's for girls because it's about ponies. And at the back, We've got uh, Nancy Catford again, and this time she's written and illustrated a story about making bird boxes or an article about making bird boxes. And again, bring back the internet, bless her. And uh, we'll just finish with a photograph I need to find. And the picture is, of course, this picture of a beef eater. <laughs> because you've got to have uh, plenty of pictures about the royal family so i hope you enjoyed that if you did please like subscribe leave your comments down below are you old like me are you from the 50s and does this book do it for you uh thank you for watching i love you all bye